Is that what your poo looks like after fiber? <laughs> no, your poo looks good after fiber. That's what your poo looks like before fiber. Welcome to another full day of eating. Everyone's favorite video for reasons we will never know. But as I've been telling you guys, it's time to stop being a skinny bitch. Time to get huge. Bulk season has officially begun. So I'm going to be bringing you guys what you I- You literally said that last time. I think of the season we're in. It's a series, the bulking series. Mm -hmm. I gotta say it the intro every single video. Anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm eating in an attempt to get bigger. So it's not crazy right now because I wasn't eating a lot before, but I'm slowly increasing my calories. 500 or so at a time and yeah, we're gonna be going over that today. So breakfast basic bitch breakfast I've been hating eggs lately. I haven't even really been liking pancakes I was eating chicken and rice bison and rice for a while in the morning, but We switched things up to a smoothie lately. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make this You are something else I'm going What's in? Come follow your mother What's in? What's in? Fuck. Yay! Oh, it's here. I'll say with me and Grandma. Let's go. Come on. <sighs> Alright, so this is one of the tricks. If I remember to apply, I do. But if you put your oats in, so I'm, by the way, I'm letting oats in the smoothie, obviously. But if you put your oats dry, into a cup and blend them before putting them into the smoothie. It becomes like flour and then it absorbs a lot better and it's less like granular when you drink it. So this is 120 grams of oats. I'm gonna just use your flour then. Is there oat flour? Yeah. Really? I guess I could buy that. The real men do it. <laughs> Freezer door open too. Polar Express. Uh, raspberries. And blues. I can't believe that didn't spill at all. We have one big continuous clip. Yep. Oops. Wow. That hurt? There's no specific amount of fruit that goes in here. Just whatever falls in the cup on that day. But blueberries have them right now. So it's a little extra of those. And for whatever reason, I put in two ice cubes for good luck. So some water. I also like to water it down a little bit so it's easier to drink. As opposed to being thick where you need like a straw, I just want it to like be a much thinner consistency. You should just drink it like that. I think you could drink food. Step three, fiber. So I poop myself properly, instead of pooping myself improperly, as no one wants that. Use code sebum. This is actually a super underrated supplement. I don't think a lot of people get enough fiber. So I like to blast myself full of fiber in the morning. Hopefully I go to the bathroom after, which I always do consistently. And then you have a great day. All right, so then two scoops of vanilla protein. Vanilla is the absolute goat in protein chicks, I mean smoothies, because it just tastes good. This one specifically, I don't know what it is, but that little oatmeal kick in it makes smoothies taste so much better. And then I add my flour in here, and then it looks like an aggressive amount of powder just hanging out in there, but it actually blends surprisingly well, believe it or not. Finally, the last step, some organic, creamy almond butter for some fats.
Is that what your poo looks like after fiber? <laughs> no, your poo looks good after fiber. That's what your poo looks like before fiber. You're welcome. So yeah, 31 grams of that. Normally 30, but that's close enough. Put a little more water on top so it blends efficiently. I'm gonna overflow. That's not gonna fucking blend. Oh, watch me. They're supposed to, they're, <laughs> this is the max fill line. <laughs> you have little faith. That's bullshit. No one actually follows that shit. That's like saying the speed limit is how fast we're supposed to drive on the road. Look at that. Didn't he, see, now it's at the fill line. The powder settles. You didn't, you didn't open it right. You didn't open it right? <clears throat> You're supposed move? to take the bottle and then like whip it so that all the fluid goes to the bottom. There's nothing on the blade. And Are use, and use what is it, centrifugal force? No, I don't know what it's called. Gravity? Yes. Normally I don't get shit stuck on the sides, so. So when I put it back on, it doesn't leak, you mean? Well, you already, never mind. I already fucked it up? Yep. <laughs> What am I supposed to do this? Yeah, no, you're supposed to like, so like, this is here, and then if you want all on the bottom, you like, whip it down. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you had to let go. <laughs> I didn't want to throw Smash it on the ground. It's still covering the shit. Well, because your shit's so thick. Your That's shit's so said. thick. <laughs> Delicious. I have no many, no many, I have no idea how many calories are in this. So, <coughs> I'm gonna calculate that. <coughs> Throw up, and then be right back. <coughs> so, uh, I did some thesaurusing, and what you said, the risk does not outweigh the reward is actually wrong. I know it's wrong. We thought about it last night, it took us 20 minutes. What did I say, the risk does not outweigh the reward? Yeah. Doesn't it sound better to say that than the risk outweighs the reward? I feel comfortable when you say the risk does not outweigh the right? reward. Sounds better. The other way is just, I think it's because when you add do not, does not, it like fucks everything up. So it doesn't sound as good. Does not not outweigh the reward. Yeah. There you go. I wonder if this is a thousand calories. No. You don't think so? No. Nope. Unless you put a lot of peanut butter or almond butter. All right, so total calories are 931. 72 grams of protein, 23 grams of fat, and 114 grams of carbs. So, all that fit into this little ball of purple goodness. And it tastes good and easy as shit to get down. So, that's breakfast, easy 900 calories of the day. Then, I'm gonna get two meals together, bring them to the office. Me and Calvin gotta head over. So, I'll see you guys for meal number two. <laughs> What? You're a softie. No. You talk to her in a baby voice when I'm not around. No, I don't. He does. Did she <laughs> tell you that? He's laughing. Did she tell you that? She told me and I hear it. Oh. I'll catch you in 4K doing it. 4K? Why not 8K? You should do that. I'll do this, and then I'll do this, and it's like I'm opening the next page. You're opening a page? Yeah. Just great. <laughs> no. Does it look cool? I'm not keyframing that. Every now. time. <laughs> no. What would you do if I wrote on that? I j well, this is your lens, actually. No. Let me write a smiley face. I already cleaned this when I got it. Oh, I almost dropped that. I would have cried. Found home. Chicken smells like poo. Does it? Do you boil your chicken? You don't? No. Well, you could take it. Uh, well. All right, meal number two is 180 grams of chicken breast, 250 grams of white jasmine rice, and 20 grams of macadamia nut oil. That's the oil mass office. But this is the best meal you would eat. I was eating vegetables for a while. 
now I was lazy and I didn't put him in this meal today. But not really much to say about this. The key to success is bodybuilding, getting big, is preparation. So if you go to work, bring meal prep. Normally I have MegaFit, to be honest, and they started making a literal like bum bowl. It was turkey, ground turkey, rice, and olive oil. That was it, it was delicious, but I forgot to order it last week because we were traveling. So I actually had to cook two meals for work today, but I was prepared to go. This is meal number two. I fucked up my diet already. See, I was trying to, I have a bison meal and a chicken meal, and personally I try and have the bison meal earlier because it's a little bit slower to digest than chicken. And I, so I like to have chicken before the gym, but I'll be fine. I'll eat an hour and a half before the gym. I don't even know what I'm supposed to talk about in these videos. What do you eat? What do I eat? I will say this. I don't think there's an optimal amount of food over one meal that you should eat before working out. People always ask, when should I work out? How many meals should I eat? I think it just matters on what your goals are. If you're bulking, how is it easiest to eat a lot of food? Personally, if I only eat two meals and I work out for like two hours and I come home a little tired, lazy, me eating three meals and a shake or so after working out is really hard. But two meals, super easy. So I know with that, knowledge, I need to have three meals before working out or I'm going to miss a meal or it'll be harder to eat a meal. Whereas when I'm dieting, I'm always hungry at night. So I try and only eat two meals really spread out in the morning, train, and then I get to jam my last three or four meals closer together at the end of the day. My cravings hit me at night, my hunger hits me at night, I'm sitting around doing nothing at night so I know I have those meals. So there's no like proper way to do it. I personally think as a bodybuilder trying to put on muscle, you should at least eat one meal before training, have some food in you for fuel, but I don't think there's an optimal number other than that. So just organize your day in terms of what is going to be easiest to adhere to your plan. But yeah, so I'm going to eat this and move on with my day. Hmm. Smell good? Yeah. Smells good? Okay. What's it smell like? Blue raspberry? It smells like blue raspberry. It smells like a little crystal light. There you go. You swirl it around. Different beast. It's actually pretty good. Probably not good to mix chicken and rice inside. This is the perfect time to drink it. I like it. Easily. There you go. Maddie J. People like it. Probably not Chris, but other people do. <laughs> it's good. It feels like a film of texture. Do you feel it's, that? It's thick. Like you look right? at it, it's got super look, look, Yeah, end, but look at the inside of it too. Yes. But you like, see the cloudiness. The last one we drank, it felt like just water with flavor. Right. That yeah, feels man. like there's like a it's thickness. It's a little flemmy. Flem, flemmy. Yeah. So we don't like it? If well, you like hot and trying to hydrate, you want really you put thin. Put the correct amount of water. I put probably, 16 probably ounces not. and 5 grams. Probably not. That's why I have so much left over. Look. I think the looted here is going take that problem away. Yeah. 16 ounces. Definitely that. hydrate powder and chicken at the same time. Don't take my judgments today. You really don't. Said, Do you think someone would notice if I stole that? Mm, nope. Ruining every shot. Is that dog food? Yeah. Poppy's not eating today. She's sacrificing for her father. I gotta get big. She doesn't need it. She's already a jumps in. Would you rather have to eat one of Courtney's hands or Hudson? Courtney's hand. Duh, I'm not eating the Hudson. She already doesn't have enough time on this earth. Microwaves. Remember when I said brain waves? <laughs> Instead of whatever else kind of wave? How much water do you consume a day? That's a good question. I probably have six of these, two when I work out, and then two more after. So that's like nine of these, maybe? So that is 20 ounces times nine. It's 20 ounces times nine. This could be completely wrong. 20 ounces times nine. That's 180 ounces. How many milliliters is that? 500, 5,323 milliliters. I don't know why I put it into milliliters. 5.3 liters. 5.3 liters. So let's Which just- Which is how many gallons? Place this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 1.4 liquid gallons. So I drink approximately 1.4 gallons. That's probably accurate, because one day I did actually have a gallon to see if I was gonna drink it, and I drank it like halfway through the day. So, yeah. But the truth is, if you walk around with a gallon or a big thing of water and you always have it, you're going to drink more water. Because subconsciously I just kept looking at it and I was like, I gotta finish the gallon. So I just kept drinking it more often. And I feel like I drank more that day, so. 
I don't know, if you're someone who doesn't get water, just walk around with water all the time. But always holding. Wouldn't it be easier walking shaker. around with that? Would it be easier? Yeah. To find easier. Is well, it easier to have something small and carry it with you all the time, or is it easier to have something big that you never have to refill? Depends on your personal life circumstances. It's about balancing. It's about balance? Is it easier to eat a cake in one sitting or throughout the day? Throughout the day? Exactly. So, so same not, thing with this. Yeah, but you're not drinking in one sitting or walking around with it all the time, so you never have to refill it, so you're still drinking it all day. But what if you have to look at the cake all day? You okay. start to hate it. Now you're just getting personal. Who hates water, though? Everyone. Water is life, literally. That was 15 grams, right? That was like 45. I was like 15. Wasn't this bottle full when you got it? When I bought it, yes. Usually you buy stuff no, full. No, no. Like when you had it this morning. No, of course not. I didn't bring a new bottle. You used... You used 120 grams today. 120 grams of mac and cheese and oil. He's lying. That's dramatic. That was like 15 grams. But meal number three is... 180 grams of bison, 270 grams of white rice, 15 grams of macadamia nut oil. It's about 750 calories for this meal. Very delicious. Training in like an hour and a half ish, so should be able to digest the fats by then. It's only four. We'll be good to go. But yeah, so I, like I did that food allergy test and I'm not supposed to be eating beef right now, so I switched it with bison. Whatever, no big difference. Bison honestly tastes a little better. So this is going down. Reason I switched to mac nut oil, more monounsaturated fats. It has less omega-6 in it, which can be inflammatory when you have a lot of them. So you wanna be conscious of your ratio, omega-3s to 6s with a higher omega-3, higher omega-3 content. Hence macadamia nut oil, hence why I also take a lot of fish oils, like 20 pills a day of fish oil, just to help with inflammation, because anti-inflammatory diet is life. So yeah. Does that mean you leak? I mean, I smell bad. No, you leak oil. Maybe that's why I do smell bad. You think? No, it'd be... If you have too much fish oil, sometimes you leak. Leak? Yeah. What does that mean? Like you leak out of your butthole. Oh, your butt. How am I going to I think that means you need ox bile. I don't know what that is. If ever you're having trouble digesting fat, ox bile helps a lot with that. Give it a shot. But yeah, so this is a pre-workout meal. Feeling up for a big old arm day. Again, should be having veggies. I'll have them all later tonight. But if you're not sebum and you want to get a sick pump before the gym, salt the shit out of that meal before the gym. Drink a lot of water leading up to your workout and salt the shit out of your pre-workout meal. Help you get hydrated, get lots of water, hydrate the muscles, get a little more energy in there, and you'll get a better pump as well. So salt is life, unless you're sebum. What are those? Some new easy slides. I gotta give a shout out to my boy because I was at the gym and someone was like, oh, I saw your sneaker collection online. And he owns a resale kind of business. So he gave me a pair of Yeezy slides because I didn't have any and I always wear flip flops. But it is called Saving Souls for Him. At Saving Souls for Him. So if you need some sneakers, check him out. Got me some Yeezy slides, so <laughs> big thanks. That was really loud. That was a little loud, a little aggressive. What's that? I haven't decided what I'm eating yet, so I'm just sipping on them gallon of orange juice I wish, at the moment. I wish orange juice was macro friendly. Because I drink I, it every day. I wish it had protein and better carbs in it. Other than fructose. It's only one ingredient. Oranges. I, mean, but, sure. I know, but if I could literally live off this. If it was like the macros I need, oh. I could drink this all day I every day. I love orange juice. Way too tart. So have you, good. Have you never had orange juice with like a nice like pancake and like oh, eggs for sure. breakfast? Yeah, orange childhood? juice is amazing, but like a few, like a glass this big, yeah, not like gallons. chugging. I literally will Gallon chug a big. liter. This is our rice cooker. Shout out to David Laid for showing us this. Chris for this. Did I discuss this rice cooker on my YouTube yet? I think so. Oh, I have already? But you just didn't show it. Oh. Well, this is this. This, <laughs> this is All this. Right. This is this. Zoji Rushi. Rushi. Zoji. Zoji. Rushi. It's on Amazon. It's like 180 bucks, but it holds 10 cups dry rice and cook in there. And then you cook it in about an hour, 
and then it stays warm for up to infinite hours. But I try not to leave it that long, so I'll leave it in here for like, what do I go up to, like 72 hours sometimes? Yeah, days. It. it sits in there for three days hot. It stays good, because it's hot. And whenever you want, you just scoop it out, ready to eat, warm, and ready to go. So. Hello. On a scale of one to 10, Court. Yes. How much do you enjoy cooking for Chris? It's my full-time passion. On a scale of one to 10, how much are you actually just a slave? I'm a slave. <laughs> I actually enjoy it. What? Like, we, we do a lot of bulk cooking, but it's not like prep big meals like this. It's not what? It's prep less meals now that I'm gone most of the day. I still make your bulk meat. That's why I said you make the bulk meat if you prep less meals like this on the stove. Well, because he's not here during the day, so I don't have to do, so I don't really do this. But when he is here, I do. I do. Would you say that over the years you have converted him to keep eating completely organic? I don't know. What would you say, babe? Not completely, but... I'd say my food influence has influenced him. Yes or no? Yes. He just doesn't want to give anyone credit besides himself, so... Yeah. Pretty sure I just did. What? I think it was actually the Woodson who got me into it. Yeah, our dog will bark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. She still got mad. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hit your daddy. <laughs> yes, I did. But it's okay. She actually no, she was scared. She got sad. No, no, no. I don't like beer. She protects me. Yeah, she protected that's, me. That's proof that I get abused at oh home. Oh my god. <laughs> I get beat you at night. Get and then she, and she, I just yeah. made your meal. That's bullshit. I love you, sweetie. That's what she, I get physically abused and then she makes me food and then like, you can't complain now. <laughs> Amber Heard! <laughs> so Alright, post-workout meal. Consists of 180 grams of chicken breast, 20 grams of olive oil. I think, I don't know, again, she just poured it on the pan. We are always unsure of the amount of olive oil. Can you try and say olive oil again? <laughs> oh, oil, olive, 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 olive oil. 280 grams of rice and half an avocado. And some Serrano condiment, yellow bird sauce. And zucchini. And zucchini. Don't forget about the health benefits. Hashtag health. Eat Himalayan sea salt. Would you consider zucchini as one of the easily, easiest digestible <laughs> vegetables? Yes, I would. You want Very some? easy on the stomach. So if you can't digest a lot of greens, stick to zucchini. Okay. Do you follow carnivore MD? I do. Did you know that seeds and plants have defense chemicals for yeah. humans so we I've, can't digest them? I've heard. <laughs> I've heard, yes. I think you just gotta listen to your body. What feels good? Can you digest plants? Zucchini feels good in my body. Good, that's good. is very good in prep. <laughs> very low calorie, easy to digest. You know you're- Oh well, yeah, so- You're this literally behind the camera. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, post workout meal, 850 calories. See you in the next one. This is Chris thinking I don't cook for him. <laughs> what is this platter? This Let's is plethora. just some roasted organic potatoes, a little olive oil, salt, some seasoning, and I'm trying to crisp them up. Right? When's your cookbook coming out? I'm working on it. Oh, he can pick it up too. Well, he's like, uh, like you know, super strong character. Gee, that thing's sharp, eh? Gentle, so how's your energy, babe? Like, compared to other preps. But I find myself like, yeah, 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 I'd rather be that. Are you carnivore MD? Yeah, I'm full carnivore. These are actually fake potatoes. They're sliced up. Well, imitation potatoes? Imitation potatoes. <laughs> Those must be very comfy because you've been wearing them ever since you got home. They actually are pretty comfy, I'm not gonna lie. I never wanted to get them because they looked a little goofy, but... Sorry, my life, right? Yep. I feel like with my big ass, they look silly. Yeah, so Courtney found this bread. It's a rustic potato sourdough. 
three main ingredients, flour, water, salt, and it has zero grams of sugar in it. And it's soft, it's delicious, it's white, but sourdough, there's sea salt in it as well. It's enzymes, whatever enzymes are. But sourdough is one of the best breads you can eat. So, I like to eat healthy, but sometimes I branch out a little bit from sourdough bread, the sandwich. A little sneak peek right here. I wanted to mention these because we just got them in finally. We're doing an event. I haven't even announced this. We kept it pretty low key, but we're doing an event in Miami with Ghost and Anaka on July 23rd. Raw Anaka Ghost. And we're having some raw Anaka collab shorts. There's three different shorts I believe we're doing with some, and they're only gonna be on sale at the event. You gotta go there to get it. We're gonna, the event's gonna be free because we just wanna have people come but there's separate tickets to come see me. We're charging with those, but they're, we're donating all the money to charity. And the reason we're doing that is just because last time we had an event, 2,000 people came and they all came and wanted to see me at some point or whatever, and the line for me was just grueling. And there were just people waiting forever and it almost wasn't fair to them. And I was also dying by the end of the day. So we limited the amount of people that are guaranteed to see me at the event. The tickets will be separate. You'll see me and Greet with C-Bum will be on the website. And then the other tickets are free to come to the event. We're gonna have exclusive merch. Anak will have exclusive merch. It'll be free energy drinks from Ghost Energy. The shorts are gonna be there, a bunch of t-shirts, a bunch of cool stuff. So put the link down below. You can check that out. Tickets are probably almost sold out. I haven't up looked at the update recently, but July 23rd, it's in Miami. So if you can come, it'll be cool. But yeah, that's it. <sighs> All right. Last meal of the day. Put this together very aesthetically so you can see it. But I'm gonna eat that in like 30 minutes, watching TV probably. But this is the meal. Also, just so Calvin didn't have to wait in my house till midnight, pretty much. But last meal consists of 300 grams of potato, 180 grams of ground turkey. Probably gonna get some ketchup and sriracha. Combine that on here, very delicious. And then I have a little snack. I usually either have one of these in the morning or at night, usually with my shake, but I forgot to have it with my shake, so I'm having it tonight. Just a simple little sandwich with some almond butter. And so that means my total calories for today are 4,133 calories. I think that's pretty attainable. 460 grams of carbs, 140 grams of fat, 264 grams of protein. So I think it's pretty consistent. I don't know if it's my old age or what, but I feel like my metabolism is like slowed down in a sense, or maybe my body's just used to putting on muscle mass a little easier because I haven't, I've been doing it for more years, but I used to have to eat like five, six, seven calories to look just like this. Now, 4,100 calories, I'm slowly putting on weight right now. So can't complain about that. A little bit easier to eat. And I'm actually able to not like feel sick eating my meals. So this is where we're at right now. I'm gonna keep eating like this consistently. I'm gonna keep weighing myself pretty much every single day and tracking it. If my weight doesn't increase at all in like two to three weeks, I'll add like 500 calories, start eating 4,500 to 4,600. Personally, that's how I do. I give myself like two to three weeks when I see no game, switch it, add some food. And then if I put on too much weight, bring it back down, but I probably won't. So yeah, that is a wrap on this full day of eating. Thank you guys for watching. Don't be a skinny bitch, get huge, eat lots of food, enjoy. Oh, I did want to mention, people always ask like, oh, if you're natty, can you eat like this? If you're taking stuff, can you eat more? Essentially, no. It's more off body mass and lean, lean body mass, I should say. So if you have, I know it's realistically not possible, but if you're 250, same body fat as me, but not taking stuff, hypothetically, you could eat the same. So it doesn't matter whether you're taking stuff and you're natty or you're not, it just matters what your body weight is and your lean body mass is. So if you're 200, if you're 180 pounds and you're taking stuff or you're not, you have the same amount of body mass, lean body mass, you could eat the same and get away with it. Taking stuff, not being natty, doesn't just magically allow you to absorb more food. Your body still has to digest, it just, allows you to have a better recovery and affinity to put on muscle quicker. So yeah, obviously if you're not 250, 260, don't eat this amount. I'm just showing you guys ways to eat, little tips and tricks along the way, but you guys have to lessen the food depending on your caloric needs and intake, all that stuff. So yeah, but thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.